Insmaus no Yakata, which I'll be calling just Insmaus from now on to avoid my bad Japanese pronunciation, is the only horror game on Virtual Boy. It's said to be based on a Japanese horror movie that was in turn based on the H.P. Lovecraft novel Shadow over Innsmouth. I don't know what the story is about, but the game is about a man who is trapped in a house with a lot of floors, 13 floors from start to end, that all look the same by the way. The game uses a first person perspective, but it's hard to call it a first person shooter, it's not like say Wolfenstein 3D, but more reminiscent of NES games with first person sections like Gogo 13 Mafat Conspiracy and Fester's Quest. Like I said, all levels look the same, which is a shame, but I think the graphics are nice overall. The monsters especially are nicely detailed and look freakish. Some of them don't have faces, some of them don't have arms, but they all look like freaks. For music, there's basically only one track, but it's good. It starts slow but increases in tension and adds to the atmosphere. Because this game can actually get pretty scary. One part of that is the sound effects. This game uses stereo sound very well, and depending on where, where you are in the level and where the monsters are, you can hear their precision and their footsteps. Even though the sound effects themselves are of low quality, they're effective nonetheless. The goal is to get to the end of each level in one piece, and to help you, you have your gun. You aim with the right D-pad and fire with the R button. You have a very limited amount of bullets, so outrunning the enemies is often a better tactic than shooting them. Plus, the harder monsters absorb up to 8 bullets. To beat the level you have to find a key, then find the exit before the time runs out. The time limit varies from 1 minute to several minutes. On the levels items are placed randomly, and besides health and ammo, there's a white orb and a black orb. The black orb shows the item placements and the exit, and the white orb shows the full map. These two items are critical in the later levels. You can access the map by pressing select, and the timer stops while you're on the map so you can take refuge there. The L button is used to reload, but you can only reload when you're out of ammo, which is not that helpful. I think the control is good enough. Sure, I would have wanted the game to be more like Wolfenstein or Doom, but for what it is, it's okay. I don't like the controls when the monsters keep going left to right when I'm trying to aim at them, and sometimes when I want to turn 180 degrees I end up pressing too many times and just spinning around aimlessly. But the map helps out, because your position is shown on it with an arrow. The game has a password system, and when you die and choose continue on the title screen, the password from the last level you were on is already put in for you, so you don't have to keep retyping it, which is nice. Also, the passwords are all English words in only four letters, so it's a very likable password system. The game has four different endings, but I have only been able to get three of them because to get the best ending you have to beat the game from start to finish without dying once or using a continue, and that is really, really hard. I think this is an interesting game. Before I played the Virtual Boy this was the game I was most excited to try out. Then when I got to, at first I was disappointed by the time limit and the limited NES style movement, but after a while, a shorter while than I thought, I began to enjoy it for what it was. And I do enjoy this game. It's effective at building up tension. Actually it reminds me of Pac-Man. Take Pac-Man, substitute ghosts for monsters, lock the exit to the maze and give him a gun, and you have Innsmouse. It's an expensive game, it usually goes for about a hundred US dollars on eBay, but I think it's a game worthy to have in your collection.